So hello everyone, so today I'm reviewing um, Son of Chaos with Lexi C. Foss because I really should be reading The Immortal Curse with her because I've started that series and it's really good but I couldn't, I couldn't help it uh, this is in the box set uh, Wings of the Wicked uh, so I bought that one and I started reading and hers is the first one as well so um, awesome thank you Lexi, you never disappoint uh, it starts off with a kick-ass scene that just really captivates you straight away you get really hooked it's a sort of sensual dance between um, I don't know, Zai, is that how you, how you spell his name? You say his name? Uh, and Eve and um, you know they need to train and they need to f apparently this is the third book though in, in this series so um, you might if you're watching this you might actually want to start uh, reading the two first ones uh, Heir of um, Val uh, I don't know how you say that but something like that and the daughter of death and then this one so uh, I'm gonna have to go back now and uh, I, it, it did work as a standalone I didn't feel like I was missing out much they did refer to sort of everything they've gone through which then I, I'm not sure what that is so maybe um, I would want to catch up on the other two but as a standalone it worked really well as well I really enjoyed it uh, as well in the opening they start with the time concept of you know how the year passes in heaven and earth and hell and um, which I thought was very interesting because I like sort of a magic system or rules to the world that makes everything a bit more complicated and exciting to read because if everything is like it is in reality then um, you know I have reality already I like fantasy I like paranormal and um, uh, I like a different sort of magic system and rules so that was really intriguing and uh, so it was a very good start um, in, in the book, captivating, and it's kept going. Uh, uh, she obviously, as always, explains characters really well, um, and scenes, like one of the favourite quotes was that he smelt of battle, he was saying to Zai, because he's been away um, with a, you know, kicking some ass, um, and, um, you know, I don't know if, you know, that sort of wording should work but it does because you, you can sort of understand the smell of you know blood and sweat and and you know adrenaline and all of that but um with a simple word as it like that it sort of explains it all which i i really enjoy it so uh, i enjoy the way she writes it agrees with me i i f find it appealing it's you, you sort of get thrown in there straight away with the action you you can feel the pain she writes from both perspectives the man and the woman which makes you understand how mutual their love is to each other and um, yeah it, it was a, again a very solid performance from Lexi so thank you very much for that for that story Lexi and um, it also has the explanation of uh, who of the angels and the, the underworld people can be in, you know, Shadowland and all of these things <clears throat> and how you can perish if you're in the wrong setting and, uh, you know, the, the strong man, obviously, uh, Zai, uh, which I believe is on the cover as well, um, sort of protects her. And you can see from the cover as well that he really, you know, this is her girl and he's sort of um, caressing her and embracing her and, and wants, you know, any, any, anything to do anything for her. So, um, paranormal romance, action, you know, magic system, very good. I'm giving this a high score. Thank you very much. If you have read this book as well, as always, please comment below what you thought about it, let me know, and, you know, connect with me, subscribe to my videos, connect with Lexi, um, and, and I would definitely recommend her work and that you read it, because it's really good. So thank you very much for listening and see you later. Thank you.